it's time for another mail day video with Billy Thinker. Let's see what I got this time. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Let's check this package. So this is an FEP, uh, 220 by 110 millimeters. This is a foil for the resin printer. I got myself one spare or a couple of spares. I don't know how many I bought. I have to check the web listing, but it looks like they are also protected by double-sided film, so I think it's, this is only just one of them. Let me put it back because I actually cannot show you anything about it. But I do love how it was uh, packed for the transport because those cannot be damaged or shouldn't be damaged. This will be used as a replacement for when I once again damage the current one on my um, uh, resin printer. This is a Halt Pro, if I'm not mistaken. I did manage to damage one, had to order from 3D Jake what they had on stock, and they had the normal FEP. So I bought this time an FEP, and I also managed to find my spare one, which I also got together with the printer. So now I have two spares, which is awesome. As I've said in unboxing video, this is just an FEP film for my resin printer. I did manage to damage one I had original on the printer, so I had to order the new one because I've also lost somewhere my spare one from 3D Jake, but unfortunately they only had FAP films and I really wanted to try what NFAP is. NFAP should be more slippery so that things do not get stuck to the film itself, but it also should have some additional qualities that make it better than the normal FAP film. I'm no resin printer expert, actually, I'm not expert in anything except the line of work that I do for my day job, but nevertheless, I've read about NFAP, so I decided to go with that one. There is also, of course, option to buy, for example, for your Creality or for your Alagoo or whatever printers directly from manufacturers, but I decided to try this one here. It was not that easy to find what I wanted to find because you have to be careful on the dimensions. If you do not know the dimension of your FAP film, what you usually need to do is take measurement, outside measurement of the vat itself. Uh, and the film itself should be both longer and wider than the vat external diameter is. When you install the FAP film, as you can see here on the video, when you install the FAP film, of course, you can then cut off any excess film you have. So just go with a bit bigger film than a shorter one. The shorter one, yeah, you will definitely not be able to use. The item was brought from XCR 3D official store that has 4.9 to 4.8 average score or rating. The cost was around 13 euros. Currently, it's 12 euros and 4 cents with a 40 cents shipping to Croatia. Not much more to say, but I'm glad that I have finally not just one, but two spare films. As I said, I did manage to find my original spare one from the Creality. So if one of those breaks, I even have another spare one because it takes a couple of weeks for this item to arrive. I think it took around two weeks for the item to arrive. Let's check the next item. I have to admit that I did tear the package open. I did take one item out of this package. There are three items in and on the stream we had last Saturday. I just showed it because it's so funny. So uh, let's start with that one. Yeah, uh, I will not give you the brand name or number, the link to that item will be, of course, in the video description, but this is probably the smallest, it says intelligent vacuum cleaner. I, I don't believe that there is anything intelligent about this one. I will be opening it, not today. So that's the box, nothing inside. We have a robot. Whoa. Okay, we have a robot, uh, we have power button. I, I'm not even sure if there is any suction power and it collects something here or not, just like... 
don't ask me why I bought it. I, I just wanted to see what the 20 or 10 or 20 euro, whatever this robot was, uh, euro robot really can do. So we have two wheels that are not powered. These are for two brushes. And these are the wheels that actually turn. And I, I, I'm not sure how, how it works. I, I believe that this should be suction parts and we also get charging cable there is a hole here somewhere so here is the hole you plug it in the usb and charge it then we have side brushes just imagine this one has two and if you look at Roborock or SwitchBot new um, K10 Plus or I think even S10, it's more powerful probably than any of those. Okay, so you get the point. This is the, the, the robot. And I think that you also have to glue this double-sided or not double-sided single-sided velcro tape here and then you can use also the paper uh sorry the paper the the, the yeah the the cloth for for collecting the dust this goes probably like this and that's the smallest robot yeah also in that package i received this this time I know I was, uh, this time I know what I was getting, MB162, and this should be the model of the uh, Star Wars Destroyer. Let me open it up. Wow, I really like how, how this is done. It looks like it was, it, it looks like it is Two pieces but I think it's actually no no it's actually two pieces wow okay so what this is this is a 3d metallic model and this is the manual on how you should install it of course you need to be careful not to cut yourself I like that they included the image where you can see what part is located where it really looks it really looks nice i've haven't even assembled the previous one but yeah this time i got correct one i i am star wars fan i'm a star trek fan i'm a, a fan of a lot of things so i'm really looking forward to assemble this i just do not know when i will have five minutes of free time to do something like that but yeah it, it looks it looks nice and let's check the last item in this package oh yeah 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 music box ah. It's really not that bad made. You could probably assemble this case if you have a, a CNC or, sorry, a laser machine, laser engraver. But yeah, my daughter likes it. So she likes to get a bunch of various stuff for the Christmas. So this will be going into that bunch of various stuff. She likes, uh, is it Totoro? Is what, how it's called this one, I forgot. So I got her this music box. It's really, really nice. Uh, not much more to say. Let's check the web listing for all of those three items. Okay, so this is a combo of multiple items that were packed together and I unboxed them together. So when I was you know, doing a video, I decided to go with all three. Usually I would, for example, remove the last item that I unboxed, but who knows, maybe somebody likes it. 
So about this sweeping robot, uh, it's, it was both more like a joke than the actual item I would be using. But my youngest daughter did take it to her room. Uh, she has it plugged on the charging um, cable and when she needs it, she runs it on her desk. Of course, there is no fall detection, so she has to be careful. I did test it in her room also. Uh, it actually works. I, I, I really wouldn't bet on this device that it would clean the whole house or even a big room. But surprisingly, it did pick up some of the trash. Probably in the video you cannot see it, even in the clip where I open it up to see what is in the compartment where everything goes in. Somehow it really did pick stuff up. I, I, I really wasn't surprised, but if you if you see the pattern that the robot is following, actually there is no pattern, it just goes randomly, touches something, turns and touches something. So it like moves constantly in all of the same spots and places where it already went. But again, I was surprised that it did actually pick up something. Uh, I wanted to see what the sweeping robot, intelligent sweeping robot, whatever it is called, for eight, nine euros can actually do. And yeah, I wouldn't replace my standard smart vacuum, especially the K10 Plus, which is now my primary vacuum with this one, but somehow it, it really did work. But yeah, I, I cannot recommend it in, in, in such a way that you know, go out by this and you will have your room clean, but <laughs> it did at the end pick some of the, the, the dust that was on the floor, plus some of the thingies that fall down, probably somebody eating there. But <laughs> it's like comparing, you know, 400, 500 euro uh, smart vacuum robot with self emptying bean. With this one, it's like, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Uh, so I bought it from the factory to home store store. You just have to know that this is a two time store. Uh, it doesn't have any rating here. It says that they sold more than 5,000 of these units and there are 583 reviews. When somebody says it works well for the price for the nine euro robot, I don't know, is it compared to 1,000 euro or 500 euro smart vacuum or what, but okay. So um, as I said, this is a gimmick. I, I wanted to see what's inside, but actually there is nothing inside. I didn't open it, but if you, if you look at how it is built, there is one small um, electric motor that is creating a vacuum, which actually it's not a vacuum. And then there is a front wheel that is uh, hinged, so it can turn 360 degrees with the motor. And it works like this. It, it is trying to pull the robot forward. And when it touches the obstacle, it spins a bit, changes direction and, and, and just goes around. There is absolutely no electronic. I didn't open it, but I bet you there is no electronic inside. I was hoping that, for example, there are two motors or something, but no, there are no sensors. There, there is nothing in the robot. So whatever I had idea that I would probably do with this one, I will not be able to do anything. Um, so let's go to the other item. Something that doesn't have anything to do with 3D printing, with smart home, home assistant, whatever. But I, I always liked Star Wars. So I'm a Trekkie, I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, I like SF. Um, when I was a kid, I was, I was raised on the Star Wars. Also food, but mostly Star Wars. And I really wanted to get this one. If I keep it to myself. I really am looking forward to play with it. And I think I will buy all the models from Star Wars they have. Um, unfortunately, at and AT, AT Walker is not available. So also BB-8. Uh, but we have the TIE Fighter and the Advanced TIE Fighter, like um, Guards for the Darth Vader. You know, I like doing stuff with my hands. And I've never ever done anything or create or, or assembled any 3D uh, metallic puzzle. So I am looking forward to play with this one. I actually bought two. One is this uh, Star Wars um, uh, Destroyer. And the other one I got is, I think, Space Shuttle or something similar. So I am looking forward to play with them. But yeah, uh, it's seven euros. I know it's not like one euro or two euro, but then again, it's not like 20 or 50 euros. So seven, six, seven, eight, nine euros for item like this. It's a bit expensive, but on the other hand, you know, uh, 
it's for fun. I got this one. This is this will be gift for my daughter. I know that she's not watching my videos, especially not not mailbox videos or mail unboxing videos. I hope that none of her friends watch it too. But she will be getting this wooden music box. Um, she both her and her older daughter love the Toro. Actually, they love a lot of cartoons in that style. Uh, but um, I, I got her this one. It's a very nice, very well crafted music box. Actually. I think that this music box I will be able to create, not the, 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 the mechanism inside, but the box itself I will be able to create on a laser cutter that I'm expecting to receive in a couple of days for the testing. And I'm also looking forward, I've never ever played with a CNC machine, which I would love to get my hands on testing for testing. I, I wouldn't spend a dime on it because I don't have reason to buy a CNC machine. But if somebody would you know, send for review, I would definitely love to play with the CNC machine. And I'm really looking forward to play with the laser machine. Um, that's a laser cutter and engraver. It can work from wood up to the acrylics, leathers, etc., uh, up to the uh, metals. Uh, I think uh, stainless steel, it can cut very thin stainless steel. It can also do a uh, multi, oh, okay, sorry, wrong video. I will talk about that when that video arrives, but as I said, this is a, I would say that the, 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 the box was made from the wood on the uh, laser cutter and laser engraver. It looks like that from the burn marks you see here. Um, but the musical instrument or the musical box or music device itself is really nice. It sounds really nice. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction of my daughter because I know that she loves everything related to my neighbor Totoro or uh, Spirited Away or whatever those cartoons are called. So yeah, let's look at what we have here. Two additions for my GoPro camera. It also has a diffuser. This is a stand, so you can actually mount it on any standard GoPro mount. But although this is a plastic, it does feel a bit flimsy. This at the end should go on my media mode. Now it has light and also microphone. Plus, hmm, let me open this up. And this is a small stand for GoPro camera. It can be either used in hand as a stick, or you can make tripod out of it. And once again, I can mount GoPro camera with media mode, with external microphone, light, and yeah. Another item that has nothing to do directly to the, the content I record, but it has to do with the recording of the content itself. Um, I'm, 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 GoPro camera is excellent. And, and when we go to vacation, my kids love to take it out for diving or swimming. Um, I also record with it a lot. But I record less and less videos that I use for my own content with it. On the other hand, when I already have it, I decided to go with the uh, couple of mods for it or a couple of upgrades. So I do have this media mod. Media mod is microphone, uh, external microphone. This time I bought the light mod because I was thinking of using the, 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 the mini or portable Elgato light for that, but it's just too big, so um, I went for the light mode. Yesterday we had a company party and I went with that mode also there recording and it really is excellent for whatever content you do, either to add a light or really put a lot of light on the subject. It has, I think, two or three intensities. It has internal battery. This device is waterproof, I think, but the media mode is not so. 
you should be careful on when you're using it, how you're using it. But then again, yeah, as I said, I'm, I have bought this one. And also since I'm a GoPro uh, subscriber, so I have a license for the, uh, uh, I buy yearly subscription for it. I get a discount for up to 10 uh, accessories. So I decided to go and buy this item through the GoPro site. I think the price was 35 uh, euros. Uh, I bought it on a Black Friday, but I think the price is still the same. Um, uh, and I paid something like 10 euros for the shipping, but it also included shipping for the next item. So it's about five euros per item that I bought. So this is a shorty. It should be compatible with almost any model of GoPro camera because it's using the standard mount. It's nice because you can take it and keep it in your hand. I use it, as I said yesterday, also this one and the light on our uh, company's Christmas party. I also use a tripod. Um, I wanted to get this tripod, for example, when I'm recording some of the videos, especially unboxings or the one video that's partially been already recorded. I use this one so I can have a main camera recording from one position and then GoPro doing recording from the other position. So I get multiple shots of the same thing. Um, again, it's a 31 or 32 euros total. Uh, I bought it with the light mod that I showed previously. I'm a bit disappointed. So it's a, it's a, it's stable, uh, as in it stays where you put it. If you do not touch it, uh, you can extend it. You can tilt the camera so you can use it like a stick, record yourself or somebody else, but the plastic feels very fragile. I'm not really sure that if you compare the price of the previous item, which was 35 euros for the camera with the battery, with the logic, with the recharger, waterproof with this piece of plastic, whatever. I'm not sure that this is really at the end worth uh, 32 euros. Uh, by the way, I will be also leaving a link for this item uh, on the Amazon because both this shorty and light mode can also be bought on the Amazon. So if you prefer Amazon, you can go there, pick them up there. And of course, the links that I post here are Amazon Deutschland because I buy everything from Amazon Germany. But yeah, you can use the same name for the same item on any Amazon sites. Let's check the next two items. Let's look at this package here. It's actually two packages. Okay. Uh, first we have cable. This is USB-C to USB-C, but this one also has a power meter. And I think it's up to yeah, 60 watts. It should tell you how many watts it is pulling through the cable. Uh, I will be showing you a recording of how it looks when I... Let's, for example, try it with something. I have my GoPro camera here. If I connect it, let me find the battery pack. Can't find my main battery pack, but let's try with this one here. Zero watts, four watts. But I think that this power bank is empty. But yeah, it's a good cable. It should be rated up to 60 watts or it is rated up to 60 watts, but it's currently pulling only two watts. I think my other battery that I have, which is a really good battery, uh, unfortunately is somewhere where I cannot find it. Okay, let's check the next item. I don't have my knife near me. Let's try with the screwdriver. Okay, so these are extra blades, but also I have a knife here. Spare blades. Oh, I like it. One, two, and completely in. This is nice. Nice blade. I'm blind as a bat. This is used to pull the blade out. This is a very solid build. It has clip for your belt. 
spare blades are located here. I just wish there was some kind of a... Oh, there is. I wanted to say I wish I, there was some kind of a lock. And here you can cut the cables or wire or something with this blade. This is actually not plastic. This is metallic. Is it aluminium or what? I don't know. This is plastic and this is plastic. It, it is really well built. Utility folding knife. Easy storage, handle built-in blade, foldable design, cut film, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's 3-in-1, I don't know why it's 3-in-1, I know it's a blade, or, well, whatever. Um, so, yeah, let's check the web listing for this one here. So, USB cable. Um, this may or may not be related, but I think it's very related to the content I create because this is the power cable that can help you track the power consumption of the devices that are plugged via the USB-C cable. I still have to test it a bit more to tell you if it's working as it should or not. I also ordered a couple of more chargers to be able to distinguish if there is a fault in the charger or not. For some of my devices, I wasn't able to get more than 8 or 10 watts out of the charger that says it has 65 watts. So I'm not sure how, what it is doing, if it's okay or not. But the cable itself is working. So it ranged in the, in the, in the values I've seen on the screen from 1 watt to up to 10 watts maximum on my 65 watt charger. Uh, the cable should be up to 100 watts. I don't have chargers that are 100 watts. The maximum charger I have is, I think, 65 watts. I have two. I ordered two more chargers like that. Um, but as I said, it's not something that, that you may need. But on the other hand, you probably never have too many uh, charging cables. So you can, of course, get it in alternative colors and maximum watts. It will not tell you if there is a problem with device or charger, but depending on the watts you see on the screen, you will see if it is using maximum capacity, it can output or input into the device or not. I bought it from a cute living store. It has 4.6 up to 4.7 average uh, rating, which is okay. Uh, the cost of the item is 3 euros and 41 cents with a free shipping if you order stuff uh, in total over 10 euros or 9 euros and 39 cents. It also arrived very fast and it, of course, uh, arrived packed together with the next item. I have a lot of scalpels, uh, both medical, uh, hobby scalpels, knives, etc. But I never ever find one when I need. And you've probably seen that in my videos because I use screwdrivers, I use kitchen knives, I use fingers, teeth, whatever to open them. I'm not telling you that from now on you will be seeing this uh, knife in my videos, but also I wanted, since we are in, in, in doing remodeling and things like that, I need a better quality uh, knife than the plastic ones, utility knives that I have. So I went for this one. I didn't want those that you break the part of the blade and then just like push it out. I wanted to use these that are double-sided blades that you can turn, just throw them away, get the another one. And uh, what really surprised me is the quality of the build of this product. And I really do mean when I say I was really surprised with the quality of build. It really feels in your hand like it is a tool and not some plastic toy. And um, you've seen in the unboxing video, I went with this one. This one just for a euro more gives you 10 extra blades. So now it has, I think, um, 14 plus the one already installed, so 15 blades total. It should, you know, be, it should last me a long time. If probably I will lose this knife before I uh, use all the all the blades. I I really 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 do uh, like it, and um, hopefully I will not be losing it. But under but on the other hand, the price for the knife with uh, 10 extra blades is 6 euros and 40 cents. Sorry, I'm losing my throat because I said I was yesterday on the party. Uh, shipping is 1 euro 86 cents. Uh, but if you buy more than 9 euros worth of goods, there is a free shipping. It arrived with the previous item and I think it, it took 
two weeks or maybe even a little bit less than two weeks, but like 12 days or something like that. I bought it from SciMaker official store that has no rating because that's a different deal here. But as I said, I was really surprised with the quality of the build. And if you are looking for a knife, utility knife that will last you a lifetime, that you can give your kids away when you die, etc. It, it's really, really, I was really impressed with the quality of build. And this is it for this mail day with Beardy Tinker. I know today we didn't have that many or any devices that are directly connected to the Home Assistant, but I really do hope that something that you have seen here will trigger your imagination. You will get it for whatever project you want. It can be either expanding your outdoor video recording with the GoPro, or it can be this wonderful small vacuum for your car, whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, if you do find something interesting yourself, don't forget to leave the link to it on the Twitter or Discord, because I don't think that you will get permission from YouTube to post links down in the video comment section below. But you may try. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you did like it. The next mail day video should be in two weeks and unless I completely lose my voice, the next video should be out on Tuesday or Monday if you are a YouTube channel member. And before I wrap up the video, I really would like to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Uh, nice. Very white. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member or going to my merchandise store and buying something there. Or of course, you can get me super thanks and I will be super thankful for your support. But let's not forget also each and every one of you who has watched, liked, subscribed or commented on my videos. I really do mean when I say I appreciate every interaction you make. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have...